Okay, so this one's going to be on installing Nmap onto Windows 10. And uh, it's actually pretty simple to install it. So all you would do is go to your browser and go to nmap.org and then slash download.html. And then in here, you want to just look for the Windows latest table. Uh, so go ahead and click on that. And that's it. You would just click on it. You would download. Uh, the next thing, of course, is to find it. So it should be under download somewhere. And in here, we're going to go ahead and just uh, run it. So it should be this one here. And we don't, have, we don't have to worry about uh, installing anything else because uh, it's going to go ahead and install everything that we need. So we just close this, click I agree, and then in here, just make sure everything is checked. Okay, so you can go ahead and get everything. And just click on Next and then Install, and that's it. Okay, so the next thing you want to go ahead and do is I want to go ahead and agree on this, and that's it. This is the license terms. And then what we want to do also is want to make sure we click on install NP, NP cap. So make sure you click on that. And then uh, if you want to see what this is about, uh, you can also, uh, so if you want to restrict NP cap drivers to administrators only, you can go ahead and check on that, check that, and then support raw traffic for wireless adapters. You can also click on that. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave those unchecked. But uh, make sure you click on this one here at the bottom. So then after that, we're going to go ahead and click Install. So now that this one says Installation Complete, we're going to click on Next and then click on Finished. And then this one should go ahead and finish installing. OK, that's it. After that, we'll go ahead and click on Next. And then we'll go ahead and click on Next and Finish. And that's it. Now we're ready to uh, start using. cool thing about it is we get to use the uh, Nmap GUI version, so it's called ZenMap. So just go ahead and double click on it, and it's going to go ahead and launch. One thing we're going to uh, go ahead and do so, this is what you uh, got over here. Um, but when I go ahead and add Nmap to the um, to the path, so to do that, just type in system and then some, something like system bar, and you're going to go ahead and see this where it says edit the system environments. Okay, uh, or otherwise you can just go ahead and look for your, um, if we click on this here on the uh, directory and then we go to uh, this PC, we can go to properties, I think it should be, and, and then go, go to advanced settings or advanced system settings and then environment variables. So if you find this to be easier, or maybe you're on Windows 7, you can go ahead and uh, do it like that if you want. So in here, when I go ahead and uh, look for the path and go ahead and uh, click on edit, and you want to make sure, so... I already added it from uh, earlier, uh, but all you would do is just click on new and then just go ahead and add the path. So it's going to be under C programs x86 in map. So just go ahead and add that, and that's it. After that, you can uh, basically use it from the terminal if you want. So, so if I type in cmd, and then in here, if I type in in map, as you see, I can uh, use it directly from here. So. Okay, but since we got the GUI version, this is much easier to use. So what you would do basically to be able to ping any any website or get the uh, information is you would just type in, if you know the domain name, like let's say google.com, you would just type it in like that, google.com. Um, if you know the specific IP, you can enter like that, but more than likely you're not going to know the IP, so you can enter the domain name. And then after that, you can uh, go for intent scan or whatever you want. So let's just go ahead and do a quick scan and then... As you see here, it shows you the um, basically the command that it uses. So all you would do after that is click on scan. Okay, and there we go, it's showing the open ports in here. And basically, once you see here, this is nmap done. That means that the scanning is done. So if we look at the ports host and the topology over here, you have uh, some details. So You can uh, mess around with this if you know what you're doing. I'm not familiar with all this, but that option is there if you want to go ahead and check it out. There's uh, host details and the scans over here. So basically what you would do after this is you want to, more than likely you want to go ahead and save all the information that you have gathered. So to do something like that, 
um, all you would do is just go ahead and uh, go to, you can just press Control S and it's going to allow you to uh, save it. As you see, it's going to allow you to save it as XML. You can save it anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and save it on the desktop and I'm going to call this one. I already have one called Google, so I'm going to call this one Google 2. And then after that, it's going to go ahead and um, save it as an XML. You have other options in the as far as for the Nmap extension. Uh, but I would just recommend to go ahead and use it as an XML because uh, it just it's going to make it easier. So just go ahead and click on save and that's it. So now if we uh, want to look at that one again, let's say we close it up and then want to reopen it and then check it out. We can actually go to scan and open scan or we can just look for it, which is over here. So, so that's it. We got the information. Another cool thing about it is you can just click on it. So just click on this one here. And it's going to go ahead and open up the information on the actual browser, as you see. So then you can uh, click on some of these things. So not much in here, but you get this option. So you can uh, view it on the browser. And of course, you can also import other ones. Like I had scanned earlier. Uh, so I saved that one as Google. So you can uh, I can go ahead and grab that one as well. And that one was uh, intense scan, I believe, so it should have more information in there. So, yeah, it's got all this. And if I want to go ahead and look at it from the browser, I can also look at that. So, okay, so um, that's it. That's how easily you're able to install and use um, Nmap on Windows 10. So, I'll Go ahead and make another one where you can actually start messing around with the config files and uh, whatnot, but uh, that's it for now. Bye.